Today, a local school will offer students grief counseling. This comes after a mother and her two young children died in a house fire in Nassau County. The two children attended Hilliard Elementary School. Grief counselors and social workers will also be at that school this morning to try to help some of these students and teachers cope. Aaron Farrar is live this morning. You know, Aaron, there are still a lot of questions about what happened here that need to be answered aside from all that grieving. And that's what the investigation is entailing right now, trying to get some of those answers that a lot of people are looking for right now. The two siblings involved in this, a brother and a sister, were just 7 and 11 years old. And as you just mentioned, grief counselors will be at Hillier Elementary School and more social workers there today to provide support and resources to the students and the staff at that school. This is what that scene on Jane Lane looked like when our crew got there Thursday morning. A neighbor called 911 after hearing what they described as a loud boom, then seeing flames coming from their neighbor's trailer. I don't know if nobody knows it or not. I just woke up and saw it. The whole trailer is on fire, but I haven't heard no fire trucks. I just heard some popping, and I looked over there, and there's, there's three people there and some dogs. According to the Nassau County Sheriff's Office, firefighters did not know people were still inside until the fire was out. A family member identified the woman, who is the mother, to News 4 Jax as Leslie Moore. Moore's uncle, Mitchell Tanner, came to the scene and says he is trying to make sense of all of this. I'm, I don't understand it. I'm lost. I'm hurt. I don't, I'm, I'm wanting to... She's, uh, it was a very light... That's what I understand. She was a very light sleeper. And I mean, any noise. I mean, it's a mom with three kids sitting by herself. Again, the cause of the fire is unknown at this point, so that investigation continues. This is also involving federal agents, including those with ATF, as well as the Nassau County Sheriff's Office and the state fire marshal, all trying to get to the bottom of what caused that deadly fire. As we learn more information, as we get updates of the situation, we'll be sure to share that with you both on air and online at news 4 Reporting live in Nassau County, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, the local station.